Welcome everybody, Tractor Shoots back to start us with a nice early day. Just got off of work, figured I'd fire up a couple games here and see how she gets going this morning. All right, let's start with our introductions in the top left hand corner of the map. It's our Panop Panopticon, Panopticon we're playing as the Red Terran. In the bottom right hand corner is Paranoia. Tractor Shoot loves you. There we go. So I'm assuming Paranoia is the one that sent it in. Uh, I don't know Don't know which one actually sent it in. We're going to assume it's him because I'm pretty sure very few people do who Tractor Shoot is. So thank you for the shout out, my good man, Paranoia. Let's get this baby going. A little bit of uh, TVT action here. So Paranoia is going to start himself off with a quick little refinery. Going to get some early gas. Could be mean as some early, early reapers. And we're going to go with the standard supply depot and barracks at the other end. None of these guys walling off their ramp at all. So uh, very interesting. This is a gold versed. I believe the other guy was unranked. Um, Paranoia, I think, is unranked. And I believe that Panopticon is ranked as gold. So that gives you a little bit of a rundown of where their skill level sits, or at least the gold player's skill level. There we go with the barracks. Can go with one barracks. No scouting at either one of these guys. YouTube with T-Shoot. <laughs> this is how many times you can say T-Shoot. I love it, buddy. Love it, love it, love it. That's hilarious. So we're going to go double barracks right out the bat here. So could see some very early marine action. He might be looking to, to push out some... Oh, yeah. Okay, he's going to expand. So he's going to like to build up a bit before he does anything. So pretty good, quick expansion out of our uh, Terran here. Only a minute 36 in. Already got the expansion going. Nicely done. In the meantime, we are going to go with a 1-1-1 one, one, one build. So probably, you know, Marine Medevac uh, Marauder, yeah, as you see a couple of Marines coming out there. So definitely no Reaper harass. Uh, interesting with the nice early gas. Like it, like it. Could be kind of neat here. We'll see. There we go. Going to continue with the expansion. Still no scouting out of these guys. So nobody too, too interested in what the other guy is doing here. They're both just going to kind of uh, do their own build and hope for the best from there. Nicely fully saturated at that end here. Let's take a look at the old production tab here. So we can keep up what's going on. Just a ton of Marines coming out. Both these guys fairly even so far. Double gas fully saturated by Paranoia. So he's definitely going with a... It could be somewhat of a gas heavy build. Uh, looks like we're going to turtle up a bit for Panopticon. As he's going to throw the bunker at the top of the wrap. So he's definitely looking for maybe more of a... a uh, longer build. Maybe like an 8-9 minute uh, type, type push or something like that there I would have to imagine is he going to sit back a bit there with the defensive stats meantime at the other end here there it is there's the finish of the 1-1-1 one, one, one. oh let's see factory going to do much no not yet don't even have any sort of reactors or tech labs or nothing like that so it should be interesting that's a cool looking in Ursadon I guess you call that see they need I think they should make like a new I was just thinking this now that I see this Ursadon thing. I'm sure I've seen him many times, but uh, for some reason he's very interesting to me this morning. Maybe make like an animal type class, because I know StarCraft 2 would love it if they threw, like any, anybody who plays there would love it if they had an extra class to throw in there. It would have been kind of cool. Uh, maybe as some DLC or something like that. But it'd take a lot of balancing. That's the only thing. It's a very well-balanced game. So I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. You make like a creature type group, and they all get kind of cool stuff like him and, and flying creatures at the same type of... Uh, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. The same type of model uh, as this guy here would be kind of cool. Just different look, but same type of graphics as he looks. If that makes any sense, I'm not too sure. Oh, well, down the other end, we got ourselves three racks out. Got ourselves some gas. Gonna go with the factory, finally. Nicely done, buddy. Gonna get some Vikings out of Paranoia. Panopticon, Paranoia, both these guys still pretty even. Both going with totally different builds. Nice wall. The old triple... Uh, triple supply depot just finish up a sex patch so as far as a, a mineral count there's gonna be a, a little bit down as expansion nowhere near uh up up and running the same same time as panopticon here and he's looking beautiful saturation there uh got himself going down the uh to the gold already holy shoot definitely going very macro heavy so he was checking out make sure he wasn't in the gold nice scan gave him a little bit of view of the base here we go vikings he's got in the field here so vikings probably going to be a scouting unit i have to imagine or they're going to stop some bancy that batchy harass as well there so uh more likely the reason he ended up getting those vikings nicely done there no no starport out of uh uh, out of Panopticon here, so he got three racks. And did oh, that's brutal for a gold player. Supply blocked himself for a fair bit of time. Actually, that's uh, that may be a bit of a mistake on his his part there. Like I say, he looks like a he's definitely a macro player. As he's going to head down for the gold. I'm pretty sure he will will get scanned here pretty soon by uh, Paranoia here, just to see if he is down there. Still hasn't scanned. 
Yeah, still didn't scan down here to see. Doesn't look like anyways. I don't know if you can tell. It has no idea he has the expansion here. But on the other end there, let's see if Panopticon. No, he doesn't even know the expansion. So both these guys, very limited knowledge of what the other guy has. Uh, like I say, both just doing their own thing. Bike is on the fucking ground. I've never, ever seen that. <laughs> I don't know what's the best choice for a defensive unit. Oh, this is it. This is, I'm, I'm very curious where we're going to go with this here. He's going to load the four Vikings up. The, <laughs> this is... Holy shit. Well, you already had my interest. I don't know. Maybe he knows me too well. I'm not entirely sure. This is fucking hilarious. He's going to go a four... A four oh, no. They might not even make it that far. A four Viking drop. I've never seen this before. This would be the weirdest... Weird decision. I don't even know if it's a good decision. Oh, he gets a lot of them ranged down. Oh, Widow. Oh, oh. You're kidding. What a dodge of the Widow by. That's sickening. Absolutely sick. They're going to drop these babies in the middle line. Oh, shit. Vikings. Oh, yeah. Those Marines going to melt this. I like the idea. Oh, no. He might get out. Shit, buddy. That's pretty sweet. Definitely got a shit ton of Marines over here, does he? Holy shoot. 28 Marines. Wow. It's a Marine heavy. Dropping them all over. Wow. Vikings are pretty sick on the ground. You group them up with that. They do a little bit of damage. Yeah, they're not, not overly bad move. He's got the Marines slowly getting over one by one, but he's very good control. Oh, he's trying to knock that meta back down. Does take on a reactor. Nicely done there. Load, load, load. Out, out. Dirty, dirty, dirty. That was pretty cool. So ends up getting him out of there. I think he might have lost one Viking because he did have four of them, I believe. But either way, he did a little bit of harassment. Maybe he didn't get what he wanted out of it. But uh, killed off some SCVs, killed the reactors. So he definitely came out ahead of the game. Not too shabby. Pretty nice move, though. Freaking four Viking drop. I, I don't even think I've ever seen a Viking drop because there's probably there's reason there's probably no such thing as a Viking drop. The Vikings aren't that bad on the ground. Shoot. I didn't realize that the uh, damage they do is pretty quick. Holy shit. So he's going to move down with a shit ton of Marines here, it looks like. His Marines going to make their way to the other end. He's got a lot of Marines there. He's going to have to. Oh, no. He can come right in front. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at the hole. What? No, that's the shittiest wall I've ever seen. I don't know if he sees it. This is going to hurt. Oh, not bad. Actually, only one Marine. I think he got or, uh, one uh, SCV. Oh, this is trouble now. The Marines are in the middle of the line. Here we go. Going to blow the shit out of what he can. There goes a couple of the SCVs. A few more of the SCVs about to go down here. This is kind of big trouble here. He does have the siege tanks up there, so he is sitting pretty good. They're going to obviously mount up there and probably finish off these Marines. He is expanding off of this. Very well played to get that expansion out there. Oh, yeah, that easily clean up. So he gets the expansion done there. Down the other end here, he's still Marine heavy. I don't know, fucking Marine uh, Widow Mine build. Holy shit, just pure Marines and Widow Mines. Uh, yeah, definitely not, not much of a, uh, not much thinking to his build. <laughs> Very Marine heavy. As you can see, we've got five Vikings, a few tanks, and a few Marines as far as paranoia goes. But Panopticon, he ain't backing out of this. He's going to stick with the, uh, the Widow Mine slash Marine type build. Still has this in the back here. He's got two whole kills so far. There's the scan. So, eh. I don't know. I don't even know what a widow mine cost. Was that really worth it in the end? The end, I've got two. So he basically got 100, uh, 100 minerals worth. Oh, yeah. They definitely, uh, definitely lost on that battle. I, not by much. So it was just 75 and 25 gas. He decides to bring back his whole team. He is going to push with it here. Okay. 37 Marines and two Widow Mines. They're going to push their way in and see what they can do here. Being on the other end, if he gets those siege tanks set up properly, gets the uh, guys in the bunker, it could be a lot of troubles. The Marines are going to go down pretty quick here. But we'll see. He ain't ready for it so far. The siege tanks are all split up here down the other end guarding. So this will be interesting. He'll definitely take out a few things there. He's going to get, have to get those in position pretty quick or he's going to lose a, probably a starport he's going to focus down. Oh, focuses down an empty uh, bunker. Realizes it's empty now. Gives time for Paranoia to get his army up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Marines going to melt out the medevacs the best they can. There's the Vikings still in there. They're going to end up going down. There's the nice little scan trying to get rid of that Widow Mine. Tanks are up. They're blowing away, but he is focus firing. Oh, this could be the end of Parano. No, no, he might take them all out here. Looks like he is going to survive this. Barely survives. So both these guys still doing fairly even here. Panopticon a little bit better on the food count. Does scan that up there. Does want to get rid of that Widow Mine. Very well done. Down the other end, just sticking with the Marines. Holy shit, he's gone to a six barracks Marine build. Finally getting the medevacs out, so he's finally at least putting a little bit of support in there. Does he even have his, I don't even think he has stim pack or nothing. Holy shit, he's got to get himself out a, uh, yeah, he doesn't have nothing. If, if he had stim pack and uh, combat shield, uh, Gabe probably would have been over by now. But I guess he's uh, maybe slowly warming up to for a gold player, I will say. That's definitely not the... Uh, not 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 the smartest of builds so far. 
Derry, fine. I was going to say, one of these better be a tech lab. He's got a tech lab coming now. I assume that's where we're going to get the stim pack and the, uh, and the combat sealed. Meanwhile, at the other end here, uh, looks like we are going heavy on the factory. What are we going with? We're going to build ourselves a good old Hellbats. All right. This decides what he's going to go into his Hellbats here. Ten minutes in the game, decides to tech switch over to Hellbats. So this will be interesting. He's got himself the one uh, uh, one one Viking left there. There's a bunch of siege tanks out. Lots of siege tanks there. So Hellbats siege tank. He's actually got a pretty good build going here. This should be fairly interesting. He's got himself one extra base. Then Panopticon here. Panopticon pretty much mined out at his main. Expansion still, is still doing fairly well for itself. So he's definitely got to get himself another command set it out but like i said i think he planned on winning this early just based on the crap ton of marines he decided to pump out now that hasn't happened his mid game is is very suffering here like holy shit you can't be running yourself on uh, six six racks and three star ports, especially off a of two base here. And always build it. What the hell? You got three star? Eh, okay, he is going to go with some liberators. I going to say, you better not be three star port and medivacs. It'd be insane. So there's the scan there. So he's got a good good, good feeling. Yeah, he thinks. Yes. <laughs> All right, as long as I, I'm getting the same humor of this as Paranoia, that's quite funny the build he's got going here. So this will be interesting to see what happens. I think there's going to be big trouble for him. What the hell is he? What the what are these guys doing? They're making the longest trip I've ever seen to get down and around and do their uh, thing in here. Oh, he had it blocked off. I see. He didn't actually uh, <coughs> didn't drop his uh, supply depot in time. So we'll see if he does decide to get an expansion out here. He's going to have to figure it out pretty quick here. Panopticon needs to do something because, holy shoot, he's going to run out of minerals here. At the same time, he does have a very, uh, a very light... Uh, light budgeted build here so he's gonna push okay that's why he's got all the metavast coming here he's actually gonna look in the drop here there's the combat shields as you can see all everybody's carrying what they need to here does he have the stim pack done yet no stim pack is still not done I want to look at finishing that up here. Stimpak's almost done. Okay, so we have Stimpak by the time he gets dropped down here. Unfortunately, it might be too little too late as the army's moving out. Could turn into a base. Oh, no. He turned around. And there's too many turns, too many Vikings. Liberators are running away. Oh, this is trouble. Now he knows it's coming. Now he knows it's coming. Liberators getting in the position here. Oh, no. That Liberator's going to get some free shots. Although he doesn't have a lot of Liberators, there's no anti-air here. If he gets seized up, this whole army's going to disappear. <laughs> it's just, it's just going to disappear. Holy shit, that army disappeared pretty quick. So, <coughs> Viking comes down, saves him by knocking the Liberator out here. Does have a lot of Marines in there, pushing the army back, but all these siege that you can't... Oh, holy shit, runs right through the siege fire. Brutal. There's the blue flame you can see. So he did end up getting that upgrade here. Looks like he's going to walk right through this. I don't think there's anything he can do at this point. Lots of siege tanks. Few Vikings to keep the air out of there. Uh, he's going to load up and try and base race. He's going to load up anyways. I don't know what he's going to do with that. Vikings going to hunt down that thing before you go too, too far. Uh, he's going to try it anyways. He's going to try and get him down the other end. There goes one. Doesn't get the one that's loaded up there. Does look like he's going to forfeit it right here. Drops his units there. Ends up, oh, he's trying to save his units. Ends up losing most of them though. Yeah, this could be about it here. Brings out himself a mule to do a little bit of repair job. And Panopticon, I'm not liking uh, I'm not liking your odds here as he does go defeated. Doesn't give the GG. Very well done by Paranoia. Appreciate the shutouts. Was a very funny game. Did enjoy. And I'll leave you with this. If the CCA work and the headsets on your phone, make sure you get the right mug. Peace!